it's our first full day on Anglesey. We arrived yesterday afternoon. I've been ground hopping, bird watching, tourist stuff. Oh, my wife's up there as well. I don't think she can make it down here though. I'm pretty much like a mountain goat <laughs> and I've clambered over the rocks and I'm just setting up. It's very late actually. If I can get me an hour out this session, I'll be doing very, very well indeed. If I can catch something, well, that'll be fantastic. Because it's been two years since I was last sea fishing. And I am after Ras. And I was in Winnie's Worms earlier today. Get some, some worms, <laughs> some lug actually. And he said, where are you staying? And what are you fishing for? So I'm off the rocks in Triartha. For a, well certainly for probably the bulk of the sessions and I'm hoping to get the wrasse and he said to me the wrasse are starting to show so that looks good let's get a bait on and cast out and see if I can get a fish on the bank well on the rocks <laughs> not quite the bank is it this is the float that I'm fishing with very different to the 0.6 gram waggler that I've been using lately on the canals and pools that I've been on great though I do love fishing off the rocks and coming to Anglesey I haven't even bought my beach rods I've just bought the float set up right I've got a little bit of a hook on the rock down there let me get that one out there it is out easy enough and I'm going to concentrate this week on float fishing there's something fantastic about watching any sort of float disappear isn't it whether it's a, a pike bung or a tiny pole float but when you're after wrasse and you will pick up pollock and other fish as well but when you're after wrasse the float goes you strike and you've got one of those beautiful coloured fish on the other end that's a wonderful experience and when I say get one on the bank old habits die hard don't they well, I've had some really nice fish over the years, so let's hope that that's one habit that also returns very quickly. Just for a moment, I got all excited. The float didn't exactly shoot beneath the water like it does when a ras takes it. But I did notice some movement. I lifted, I felt some weight. It was a dead weight, so I did think initially I might have had a clump of weed on there. It was a big crab. However, I didn't even get it onto the rocks because it came off. They hang on, don't they? And it took most of the worm, so I put a new one on as the light starts to fade now it looks quite bright there for me looking on at the screen where I am now the lights fading but I've still got a certain amount of fishing time left nothing at all today I think if you're going to blank though this is as good a place as any to do it I've just been watching a rock pipit as well that's nice to see. Don't get many of those on the canal, the pools and the rivers where I fish. Joking aside, of course, they are coastal birds. And because I do tend to fish a lot of rock places when I'm on holiday, I see my fair share during the course of a year. Well, normally anyway, now that we're back on track, that hopefully will continue. I will be lifting that float out of the water for the final time shortly and then I'll be on my way back to where we're staying. There are dozens and dozens of young people gathered on the beach. I think they're having a, a rave. They're all drunk and no doubt drugged up as well. I don't know about you, we all live how we want to live our lives, don't we? But give me perched on the end of a rock fishing for wrasse any day of the week if you are fishing yourself as I often say 
tight lines and especially if you're out doing a little bit of sea angling may your lines be tighter than mine has this evening however i've still got a week to go <laughs>